Hello and welcome to our training for early. Early is a checklist of children's first words and gestures, which we've designed with and for Indigenous families. Here at Western Sydney Uni, our team is passionate about kids getting a strong start in the early communication. So we've developed early as a checklist you can use to track a child's progress in learning to communicate and maybe spot kids who need a referral for a hearing test or even speech therapy. Early is an interview checklist. It's for professionals to use with parents who have kids aged about eight months through to three years. It can be used for children up to four years if the child has special needs. The checklist takes about 10 minutes to 30 minutes depending on how much the child is talking. Caroline and Jay, can you tell us a bit about how the early was developed? Yeah, we started in the Catherine region when we were doing a research project on how kids learn to talk. What we realised is that speech pathologists and other health and education professionals don't currently have many good resources to help them find out about the languages that kids are talking and the ways that the kids are developing in those languages. So we started making a checklist by interviewing parents about their kids' first words, and one of the mums we interviewed was Jadine. Hi, I'm a Larrakia woman from my dad's side and Miley from my mum. I am a trained Creole interpreter. For the last five years, I've been working as a research assistant with Caroline. I was living in Branga when I started. I was interviewed as a parent when my youngest was a baby. The languages I speak to my kids are mainly Creole, Miley, and of course, English. The job was interesting and I wanted to join. From there, I started interviewing other parents and became part of the team. We talked about baby's first words and together we put these words into a checklist. Now we have the early language inventory. A checklist made from those first interviews we did. We call it the early for short, don't we Eugenie? Yes, we do call it the early. I'm a linguist living and working in Catherine and I've been working with Jadine doing the early in Catherine and Binjari and Rockhold close by. It's been really fun working with parents, talking about their kids' first words. Most of their first words have been in Creole and traditional languages. We've been finding out what works with the early and also how to ask the questions the right way. The early is useful to see if a child is on track with their language development. We can also see if a child's not on track, like if they're behind kids the same age. We also want to know if Aboriginal kids in other parts of Australia could benefit from the early. And that's where Chantelle comes in. Hi, I'm from the Doro community and I work with Caroline at Western Sydney University. We've been working with some Aboriginal families in the Blue Mountains. We've been trying to find out if the early is a good way to look at kids' language when they use Aboriginal ways of speaking English at home. When specialists look at these kids' language, sometimes the checklist from standard Australian English doesn't work. So we're finding out if the early can help us assess first words for Aboriginal kids here in Sydney. In the next part of the training video, we're going to show you a demo of how to do the early with the parent. Just watch and we'll summarise the main points afterwards. So babies communicate with their first words and hand signs. So we want to ask you about your child's words and understanding. So this paper has words and hand signs kids start to understand when they're really small, right up to the age of three years. Um, all kids are different and we know that you know your child best. Um, they might know some words on here or they might not be talking much yet, but we want to know about all the languages your child hears and speaks at home. They're all important. Uh, baby talk as well and hand signs too. We're just asking about the names for things, names for actions. So we want to know, does your child say it or does your child understand it when you say it? So what was your child's name? Her name's Eileen. And to confirm, your name was Jadine? Yes. And my name, Chantelle. And today's date. Okay, so what languages does your family speak at home? So this includes grandparents, um, yourself, siblings, or other carers. Well, the main ones are Creole. Yep. Mayali. And English. Okay, perfect. So I'll talk to you about each item. Um, tell me the word you use at home. I will circle the word you use. If it's not there, I'll write the word in the language name or just the language name if the spelling is too difficult. I will ask, um, does your child say this word? I will tick here. If your child says any language, if your child doesn't say it, I will ask, when you say this, word, does your child understand you? Then I will tick here if your child understands. 
and then I'll write the language if it's English or Korea or another language. So it's also baby talk as well. Yep. Okay, so let's do a practice one. Does your child say banana or another word for this? She says banana. Okay, so she says banana. So what I would do then is tick this box. Yep. Okay, perfect. And when you say it, does your child understand you? Yes. Okay, so that's a practice run. So now we'll go through the real thing. So the first word we have is brum brum or bum bum. She says brum brum. Brum brum. Okay, perfect. And does she understand when you say it? Yes, because I make the sound noise of the car. Okay. The second word is ouch, owie or bibi. She says ouch in English and then yagai in Creole. Yagai in Creole. Sometimes saw as well. And sometimes saw. Yeah. Okay. She says it and she understands it. Okay. Says it and understands. Yeah. Okay. And the noise to fall asleep or the sleep song sound. Yeah, I, I sing the water water ngoyo. That's in Mayali. Mayali. And she says it back to me so she understands it too. Okay. We have bird. She says birdie birdie. Oh, cool. Birdie birdie. And she understands when you say that, of yes, course. Yes, because she looks around for birds. <laughs> okay, and cow, moo moo. Yeah, she'd say cow in English and then bulagi in Creole. Bulagi in Creole. And so she definitely understands and says. Yeah. Okay, perfect. She'll point out to it. <laughs> and milk. For milk, when you know when I'm feeding her, she says "bippy," "mimi," "titi." Okay. So then she definitely understands yes. those, and she points at it. <laughs> okay. So now we're just going to have a look at a couple of hand signs. So the first one we have is "bye" or "goodbye." Yeah, she'll say "bye bye" or "bo bo." Okay. And the hand sign that she uses? The baby way, obviously. Yes. <laughs> and um, what about "come back"? or come here? She doesn't say it, but when I say it to her, she understands what come back is. Okay, so she understands. Yep. Does she understand the sign and does she use the sign? No. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're done. So Jay, what is early? Early is the checklist of Indigenous kids' first words and gestures, or hand signs. It helps measure a child's vocabulary. And who is early for? Indigenous families with kids under three or four years old. What languages does early measure? It measures a child's home language even when they speak more than one language at home. And what's the right way to ask the questions? Make sure you ask about the words a child can say and understand. You can ask when you say it, does your child understand you? Do I need to complete the whole checklist? Yes, you do. Because every time you do the checklist, the kid will know more words. Thanks, Jay. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope that early helps you in your work with young children. Bye. Bye.